Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Elise, and I'm back with another video. And once again, this is coming from another Amazon vendor, and this company is called Original Queen. This is my first time trying out their hair, so hopefully we like it. But here's the hair that I picked up. You guys just saw the packaging and all the goodies it came with. I did pick up their lace frontal wig, and this is in the kinky curly texture mine is 16 inches long and i believe that this is 150 percent density this is what it looks like it does have the pre-plucked hairline as well as a pre-plucked part again this is what it looks like i normally put it on my head to let you guys see what it looks like on me but i was looking a hot mess so i was like okay let me just go ahead and put on my camera's block so you guys can see the pre-plucked hairline um you can't wear it just like this but you know how we are over here we do enjoy customizing it to work for us so firstly i'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots i'm just using my bw2 bleaching powder along with my 30 volume developer gonna go ahead and mix that together i'm not gonna make this too detailed because you guys seen us do this before if you guys are new here i will link a video above in the cards and a link in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out um, but yeah i'm just bleaching the knots to make the knots look transparent so we're not noticing those little dots um, but yeah after you're done bleaching the knots you're gonna want to let it sit on for about 15 20 minutes or until you are satisfied and then go ahead and shampoo and condition so this is a couple of hours later the hair is still lightly damped we're going to go ahead and customize it you guys can see the pre-plucked hairline it looks pretty good but it's still a little too dense for my liking so i'm just taking my dim and brush and just brushing the hairs back um, then i go ahead and i pull out the baby hairs why i do this i don't really know it just works for me <laughs> um, but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull out the baby hairs and then you're gonna go ahead and just tweeze kind of like in a zigzag motion sort of making like brush like strokes if that makes any sense um but yeah i'm tweezing behind the baby hairs or behind the hairline just to make it look a little less dense and more realistic more natural looking and you do want to be very careful when doing this because i have had times where i've over plucked and we you know kind of make bald spots or whatnot however you don't have to do this again this wig is pre-plucked this is just something that i kind of have to do because yeah i gotta make it work for me but yeah this is what the hairline is looking like now and then you're gonna go ahead and remove all of those extra hairs and this is kind of like satisfying to me i don't know like sometimes people get satisfied over asmr videos i get satisfied when i just brush out all the loose hairs i don't know why just kind of I don't know but yeah go ahead and remove those hairs and this is what the hairline is looking like now again i didn't really take too many hairs out um just a little bit you don't have to go completely ham and just take out so much hair to where you're creating bald spots but just a little just add a small touch to it but yeah now i'm just making another part and i'm sorry guys it is a little lopsided because uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, but yeah i went ahead and i um plucked some of the hairs out of the part now i'm just going to go ahead and lay the baby hairs i did put a little of my foamy wrap mousse along the hairline just to make doing the just to allow the process of doing the baby hairs to be a little easier but you guys know how we do i shouldn't have to explain this every video um, but now we're going to go ahead and make them curls pop this again is their kinky curly textured hair and this is my first time getting kinky curly hair from amazon so i was really 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 excited to see how this is going to turn out and i don't know if i mentioned it before but the links and everything will be down in the description box below i know a lot of you guys love to ask but it'll all be in the description box below so here's what the wig looks like all done up and everything and here i have it on my canvas block and and you know what as i was doing this video i did notice that the lace was just too light um looking at it up against my canvas block and i do have a grocery bag on it it looks perfect but once i put it against my dark skin it did not match so yeah again this is what it looks like i did sew on that elastic strap your wig will not come with that i sold that on myself and i will link a video if you guys want to know how i do that um but yeah get into the lace it's looking a little lights up against my skin tone so 
I was recording this video and I really didn't have no clue that it was looking so light up until up until I started to edit the video. So I will be correcting it, but I'm just letting you guys see why. Yeah, it's looking a little ashy up there. Not really liking that. And I, I did try to tone it down by using a little darker color foundation, um, but it just was not working. And I was like, girl, I can't get this video out what I look like. Um, so now we're gonna just go ahead and tint it again. This is what the lace looks like up against my skin tone and I do apologize for the um, The tone of this video is a little light because I really want you guys to see the texture um, But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace I am adding some really hot water from my tea kettle then I'm going in with the RIT dye right dye Is that what it's called and this is a synthetic fabric dye and I have mine's in the color chocolate um, there is another color that I feel like matches m more with my skin tone, but I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm using this expired dye, but as you guys can see, it's way too dark. So I started adding some more water and it was still too dark. And it, eventually I ended up pouring out most of the dye and then just replacing it with just straight up water. Um, I didn't get that on film because you guys get the gist. You're going to want to just keep on dipping the napkin until you find your desired color um and then I'm not letting it just sit in the water because I was a, I was kind of afraid that I was going to um damage the hair or heat damage the hair so you guys should see me just sort of dipping it and this is the next day you guys can see that is dark is darker than the grocery bag on my canvas block so that's how I knew that it was going to work better for me and yeah um get into it I still don't really know how to tint the lace to make it look lighter because I did make it a little too dark for me. Um, but it is what it is. It's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the wig on and yeah, we'll see what we're working with. So now you guys can see the lace color. It's slightly, slightly too dark for me, but y'all can't really tell. It, it is what it is. Um, I'm just going in with my wide tooth comb and I'm just picking out the curls because I don't need to add some volume. Again, this is 150% density, but I like big curly afro -y hair. That's just what I desire. Um, but yeah, going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark just to help brighten up that part to make it look a little realistic. And yeah, going back in with my comb because y'all, I just want this wig to look big and natural. Um, so just really go in and just really fluff out those curls. The hair is really soft. So I noticed that I was literally just combing through the curls. But if you kind of hold the ends, you can be able to really volumize the hair instead of brushing through it to make it look more like a blowout. Um, but you guys look at this hair, it's so gorgeous. I'm still on the hunt for some kinky curly hair that's actually curly from the roots to the tips because you do kind of have like that, sh you know, the, the roots of the wig is a little on the straighter, silkier side, um, but it is what it is. But yeah, you guys, again, do check out Original Queen on Amazon. I will link all the information down in the info box below. Um, they do have a 5% off coupon that you can uh, check when you're checking out if you want to save some money. Um, and as well as I will have everything that I use within this video linked down below. So go ahead and check it out. You guys, I am loving this hair so much. You guys do look for my review on Amazon and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye guys.